Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you are new here and welcome back if you are not, it's your girl LWL and today I'm going to bring to you this crochet project. It is a cute, super simple, easy crochet slipper. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Let's get started. So you're going to need two skeins of yarn. Um, I lucked out. I ended up getting this yarn on sale and I couldn't understand what I was going to do with it like this was a few months ago so again guys I'm really like frugal when it comes to certain things and I try to use what I have so for this project you'll need your yarn you'll need your hook and you'll need scissors and of course your fingers this yarn was 75 cents and not only was it 75 cents there was an additional like 30 percent off so yeah, um, these are the specs for the yarn. It is um, purple multi is the color, and I believe this is only found at Hobby Lobby. So you can definitely, you know, check them out online. I used a um, size eye hook, which is the 5.5 millimeter, and I'm going to start with a magic ring. If you guys do not understand the magic ring or you need to go into more detail, you can check out the video right at the top of the screen, which I go into detail on how to do the magic ring. Okay, guys, once you have your magic circle completed, you're going to chain two. Your chain two does not count as a stitch, nor does it count as a double crochet. What we're going to do now is double crochet into the magic ring 12 times, okay? Um... If you do not know how to double crochet, I'm going to talk you through it um, real quick. You're going to yarn over. You're going to yarn over. Can you see me? Okay. And you're going to go into the ring. Make sure that you hold the, sh the short end because you want to yarn over that. You're going to pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over. Pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two. Um, and you're just going to repeat that. It's a little difficult working with the foundation of your work. And you just have to kind of learn how to hold it so that way it doesn't twist all up. But if you have any questions about double crocheting, you can always refer to my other videos. Um, and it goes into a little bit more detail. So you want to make sure that you count. If you are a bigger size than a eight women's, like me, you can double crochet 14 into this magic ring, okay? It's, everything is customizable. You're going to have to um, pretty much go by the sizes of the people that you are making it for. I'll try to put some stuff down below in my description box as far as for kids sizes, women's sizes, men's sizes to try to help you out. So I'm continuing my 14. And once you get to the amount that you are supposed to have in that ring, you just take the tail and you're going to go ahead and close up that hole. You're going to pull it and create the magic. Okay, and this is what your work should look like. Just trying to make sure that that is going to be pulled tight. And then you are going to slip stitch into the first or the top of the first chain. Okay, guys. So this next row is going to be our row of increases. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply just chain one. And instead of working how we normally do, we're doing what we call double um, crochet front posting. So what that means is you are going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook behind the actual post of the stitch. So you're going right into that first one and you're going to go behind it. Okay, so you have those three on your hook. You yarn over, you still have three. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops and yarn over, pull through the second. Now in each stitch around the front post, we're going to double crochet into it twice. So we're going right back into that same one and we're going to complete our double crochet. If you are confused, don't worry. I'm going to keep showing you. It's going to be really simple. The entire project is this pattern. So we're going to the second one. And you have already yarned over and you're going right behind the post. Yarn over again. Pull through. There's three on the hook. 
pull through the first two, pull through the second. Yarn over, go in again, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, and pull through the second two. So it's just creating your double crochets behind the actual um, post, okay? So again, it's easier to follow me, I think, than for me to try to explain it, but it is really simple. And you want to go right back into that same one and go behind the post and complete your double crochet. Yarn over, go through the next post behind it. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And then yarn over and pull through the second two and repeat it into the same stitch. And you're gonna complete that all the way around. Okay guys, so I'm back around to the end. I'm just making sure that I count as you all should do as well. I should have 28 because I did 14 originally. So double 14 is 28 and right now I'm just going to finish my final one. And what I'm going to do is slip stitch right into the top of the first one. Now from here, it can't be any simpler. We're going to, we're done with increases. We're going to yarn over and we're simply going to front post double crochet all the way around into each stitch. So once you get to that second number, again, mine is 28. All my rounds should be 28, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and continue to front post double crochet. If you guys want to just look, I'm going to do it in real time. So I'm sorry I did not slow it down. Um, but once you get the hook of it, it's very, very simple. Um, again, you're going to do that all the way around. Okay, so once you get to the end, you can um, go ahead and you're going to slip stitch like before. Right there, I'm still completing my row. Um, and guys, you will have a little seam in this sock, or should I say in the actual um, slipper. If you don't want a seam, you don't have to slip stitch into each um, at the end of each row like I'm doing. You can continue and just do it in rounds and never ending, but you will need a stitch marker. I don't mind the seam, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep, you know, slip stitching at the end of each row. It helps me um, tremendously doing it that way. So for the next row, again, we're just going to com continue the actual pattern and just go ahead and complete the front post double crochets all the way around. Okay, and here, guys, I'm just going to give you some time to actually watch me. This is in real time. I'm going to just continue the pattern up. And um, what I'm going to do after, um, again, the rows depend on how big your foot is, how big the foot of the person that you're making it for is. Um, I really, really can't tell you how many rows to do. In the description box, the pattern for what I did will be below. And again, this is for a size large, or should I say extra large in women. So it would be 10s and 11s. Um, And again, going to the next row, you will see that your work will begin to curl, which it should. And again, you just continue to go around. Um, 
I love projects that are really simple. You guys have been such a great um, inspiration and you guys have actually encouraged me to continue to make these videos. So I am trying. Uh, I love projects that are really easy or should I say you don't have to think too much. You don't have to change up the pattern too much and you still get very cute and original results. So that's what I'm bringing to you. And guys, also, I am in the process of starting an Instagram page just for my crochet videos um, to kind of drive more traffic to the channel. So please continue to share. Um, I am going to, however, continue to keep them on this channel. My channel has a variety of stuff on it. So bear with me, but make sure that you do subscribe and Sure that you also click that notification bell and that'll let you know when I upload something new and I'm going to just stop here and continue to making my rounds um, again in the description box you'll see how many I did for the size that I did um, but so that you know where to stop you want it to meet your heel as such this picture shows you it should meet right the front of your heel and then you can stop and come okay guys so now that you finish the beginning of your slipper, uh, this is what it should look like. Make sure that, again, you go all the way up into the heel. And to actually create your heel, this is what we're going to do. The pattern is going to stay the same for the most part. We are going to go ahead and start our front post double crochet. We're going to do that the same way we've been doing. The difference here when creating our heel is that we are going to eliminate crocheting into the last six stitches. So once you make it all the way around, there should be six stitches left. So you just have to be mindful and count. Um, and then again, you know, go based upon how many stitches you actually have in each round. You want to make sure that you um, subtract six. So that way when you're counting, you know when to stop. You only, you'll only need to know when to stop for the first row because you're going to do multiple rows like this. So again, we are just front post double crocheting, the same thing we've been doing. Going to do that all the way around until we have six stitches left. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to count to make sure um, I have the right amount of stitches. And really easy to tell your rows because they are already raised and you've been doing this for, you know, quite some time now. So you should be able to count your rows easily. Now that I've come to the end of that row, what I'm going to do is... Um, chain one and I'm turning my work so basically again we're, we're starting this way and I'm going to chain one and turn my work and I'm going to now double crochet into that first stitch you can what we're going to do now is called back post double crochet but because it's a little harder with the outer stitches I'm just going to do a double crochet here and that will just even up everything now for the next stitch and the stitches across, we are going to back post. Pretty much the same as front. This time we are just pushing the actual post behind our hook. So you're going to yarn over and you have to go in between your hooks. You're going to enter from the back and go around that first stitch and push it back. Then you yarn over and complete your double crochet. Again, yarn over, you're going to go behind uh, behind and around the stitch, not the front way that we normally go, but behind it. So you're going to go behind and around to push it back and then complete your double crochet. Once you get the hang of it, guys, it's going to be really, again, simple. So we're just going to continue that. You're going to continue the back post double crochet all the way across until you get to the other end. Again, we're just working on these rows, eliminating those six, um, the six stitches that we did earlier. So this is, again, creating the heel of your slipper. 
continue the same pattern all the way across. And guys, once we get to the end, we are going to then just counting to make sure um, that last stitch in the very beginning, it's going to be hard to, um, well, I won't say hard. It's going to be easy to miss it. So just make sure you count and you're going to have to go ahead and do that um, back pulse double crochet. Just like I said, make sure that you count so you don't miss out that miss that stitch because it can easily be missed. Okay, now that you're done that row, the same thing, you're going to chain up and you're going to repeat that pattern. So you chain one and we're going to now go back and do the front post double crochet all the way across. So we're just going to go ahead again and you're doing the front post. And again, you're just going to repeat that as many rows as necessary until you are about an inch behind the heel of the person that you're creating this for. So again, it's very important to measure it. If it's for yourself, it's, it's really easy because you can, you know, use your own foot. You don't have to worry about guessing or trying to, you know, get the person to actually um, be there when you're making it. Okay guys, so again, we're alternating rows, that's it. Uh, every other row will be, well, the pattern is front post, double crochet, and then back post, double crochet. All right, guys, so now that I have completed it for both of my socks, I'm just working in pairs, or should I say both of my slippers, what we're going to do is now combine the sides to create the heel. So this is what we should look like right now. I mean, if you have a giant foot, if your foot is not that big, they won't be this big looking. So I'm just making sure that they're even. I made sure to count my rolls, but I like to compare them side to side. So real simple, you wanna turn your slipper inside out as we get ready to sew it together. And actually, we're not even sewing it, we're going to slip stitch it, very easy. So I'm just folding it together. and making sure that it lines up evenly. All right guys, I'm just gonna insert my hook and we are gonna begin the process of slip stitching.
And just in case you do not know the process, you basically just insert your hook from one side to the other. Let me make sure that my yarn is correct. And you just pull through, yarn over and pull through. So again, just insert your hook, make sure you go through both sides and then you yarn over and pull through. You just want to continue that down the length of the actual heel. Now, what I noticed when I completed my project and what I will do differently next time, I will leave it a little bit, um, or I would curve my last slip stitch, meaning I won't go directly down the line and make it straight because then you'll have like a pointed heel. So you want to possibly, um, I don't really know how to explain it, guys, but if you can get it or get the gist of what I'm saying, um, or if you don't mind the pointed heel, then go for it the way that I'm doing it. But I think what would be better is if you slip stitch your last, um, your last slip stitch, should I say, if you kind of go under and around that heel and that way it will be a little bit more curved. Okay, and there you have it. And guys, excuse my voice on this second half of the tutorial because I'm coming down with something. But I wanted to get this out ASAP. So once you've completed that, you cut it off basically. And I'm just um, weaving it in just to secure it. And I'm going to flip it back the right way. And guys, this completes the actual slipper portion of this video. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. I think that the colors worked out, the yarn worked out really well. So I think it's really, really cute. Keep those feet nice and warm and for the winter. And as you can see, like I mentioned, the little pointed heel, but it's not that bad. So this is what it looks like on. And guys, I'm going to also, if you're interested in seeing how to turn these into full blown slipper socks, then watch the video at the top. Click on the link, please. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing. Please don't forget to subscribe and to thumbs up. Smooches.